The pace of COVID vaccinations has been picking up. About 20% of the adult population has now been vaccinated. Medical supply distributor Henry Schein has a unique view of the pandemic uh, and the recovery. CEO Stan Bergman uh, joins us now. So, Stan, you uh, point out that your company has been for years a representative of hundreds of thousands of physicians and office-based practitioners who know how to do this. And every flu season, most people, most adults, most children get the vaccines in an office setting, office-based healthcare setting, but that's not being utilized to the extent that it could. Is that something we should do and why aren't we? Yes, that, that, good morning, everyone. That, that is absolutely correct. The current vaccine rollout does not fully recognize the vital role of the physician. Physicians are deeply trusted in their communities. They administer most of the regular vaccine. So the first place where a patient will call, a potential part of the public, will be the physician to say, should I take this vaccine or not? We need to get their physicians engaged. We need to ensure that the physicians are given access to the vaccine for administration in their offices. This is particularly important in the minority community where the hesitancy rate is very, very high. The elderly who do not have access, easy access to vaccines, they know their primary care physician and they need the ability to visit the physician's office to get their vaccine. Well, you're telling us, you're telling me, telling our viewers, if, if, who, who all have you told? Have you told uh, uh, officials, the government, the uh, local official? Have you made this point that, that this... Uh, would be a, a quick and effective way of, of ramping up uh, the, the distribution? The plan that is in place, actually, for, a, uh, for distribution of vaccines is very, very good. There are good plans. The key now is to ensure that the physicians are given access to vaccinations so that they can administer it in their offices. This is a way we will ensure that the hesitancy rate is eliminated or largely eliminated. And we have been communicating with officials uh, in the federal government and uh, at the local level. When, where does it stand? And when, when do you expect to see, or will we see uh, some progress here in a week, two weeks, a month? It's hard for us to tell. We are the largest provider of products and related services to physicians and dentists, physicians, and dentists are ready to help. We need to engage the nation's physicians and dentists. Over 300,000 in total are ready to administer vaccinations in their offices. And they're ready. Then they are willing to do it, and it's not going to disrupt their normal practice. And, and this is something that they're totally on board uh, unanimously, you would say, or, or is there any pushback? No, but not every single practice is going to be prepared to undertake this because. Uh, as you say, uh, they would not want disruption. Having said that, the majority of flu vaccinations in this country are administered in the office-based practitioner setting, and many practitioners, if not most, would welcome the opportunity to administer these vaccines for the COVID-19 in their offices. So, Stan, the, the numbers that we've seen in the last week have been very encouraging. In, in your view, is this a reflection of the progress we're making in, in the vaccine? Is it, um, is it the, the you know, social distancing that people are continuing and, and that we're past the holidays? Now, what do you attribute it to? Because it, the, the numbers have come down. And, and do you think that this is going to be, uh, it's going to be lasting and we're not going to see another spike based on, I don't know, Super Bowl parties or people letting their guard down? Yeah, I think what is critical is that people, of course, wear masks and that people social distance. Of course, going to parties is a, a breeding ground for this virus. So I think people are generally more uh, uh, concerned and uh, more aware of uh, what is the basic hygiene needs. I also think the administration of these millions of vaccines is helping. Having said that, we need to be on our guard and we need to ensure that once we have the vaccine, we still adhere to these requirements that the CDC has laid down. But I think all of these uh, precautions that the public are taking are helping in a nice way. 
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.